the Lord High Admiral's flag were raised at the mastheads. The Commander-in-Chief Naval Home Command, Admiral Sir John Woodward, was received on parade as the old Queen's colour was trooped and then marched off. Her Majesty then made her way onto the dais with Prince Philip to receive the royal salute. She then started her inspection of the Royal Guard, the Royal Marines Band, and the ranks of platoons of officers passing out. She was led on by an usher carrying a silver-topped wand, and Her Majesty certainly cut a brilliant dash as she moved amongst the men and women in her bright red coat and jaunty hat. The Queen's colour, a white ensign with a crown and royal cipher, was presented to the college in 1958 and now seemed a good time to replace it. So a pile of drums was brought forward by the colour lieutenant commander and the new Queen's colour was laid gingerly against it. A short service of consecration followed. Us from the dangers of the sea and of the air and from the violence of the enemy, that we may be a safeguard Unto our most gracious sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, and her dominions. Following the captain's replies, the Queen then presented the Queen's sword and telescopes to men who'd got the highest results in their training period. Then the Queen's colour and officers passing out slowly marched into the college to shut the doors and give their traditional hoop of joy that it all was over. <laughs>